This rating decision is a stark reminder of the debt problems built up in Britain over the last decade and a warning to anyone who thinks we can run away from dealing with those problems. And we on this side of the House will not do that. I can report, Mr Speaker, that we have not seen excessive volatility in the markets today. Ten-year government gilts are broadly flat, trading at 2.1%, within the trading range of the last week and near the very lowest rates of borrowing in our history. The FTSE 100 is currently up, and the credit rating is an important benchmark for any country, but this government's economic policy is tested day in and day out in the markets, and it has not been found wanting today. Families and businesses see the benefit of that in these very low interest rates. And, Mr Speaker, if we accept the outcome of the rating agency decision, we must accept the reasons given for that decision. Moody's point, Moody's point to the combined impact of what they describe as slow growth in the global economy and the necessary domestic, public and private sector deleveraging process. In other words, the process of winding down the huge debts that built up in our society over the last decade. That is the environment we are operating in, dealing with the very high deficit and debt trajectory that this country had coming out of the financial crisis made more difficult by the economic environment abroad. On the same day as the rating decision, the latest European forecasts showed the Eurozone deep in recession and growth in key economies like France and Germany weaker than ours. Crucially, Moody say that the UK's creditworthiness remains extremely high because of our highly competitive, well-diversified economy and a strong track record of fiscal consolidation, what they call the political will to reverse the debt trajectory. And their message to this government and this parliament is explicit. The UK's rating could be downgraded further if there is a reduced political commitment to fiscal consolidation. You will not get that reduced commitment from this government. We will go on delivering on the economic plan that has brought the deficit down by a quarter, helped secure a million private sector jobs, and that continues to secure very low interest rates, not just for the government, but for families and businesses in the country. And ultimately, that is the choice for Britain. We can either abandon our efforts to deal with our debt problems and make a difficult situation very much worse, or we can redouble our efforts to overcome our debts, make sure this country can earn its way in the world, and provide for our children a very much brighter economic situation than the one we inherited from our predecessors. That is what I'm going to do, and that is what this government's going to do.